Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. It's going to be a little bit of a how-to video. I've been getting a lot of messages and comments on people who have submitted or would love to help and submit translations for my videos or help subtitle them in English. And I was kind of taken aback by it because I was like, I don't know anyone who'd want to help me with my videos on subtitling them and things like that. So I was kind of beyond thankful and appreciate anyone who would love to help me work on these videos. And so I figured I'd do a little how-to video because for those who don't know how to do it, I kind of struggled on how to explain it. So I found this um, page that YouTube has that talks about how to contribute translating content and things like that. So if you'd like to watch and read on how to do that, I'll put this down in the description below. And then I'm also going to do a quick little how-to on how to do it. But a big reason I try to subtitle the videos myself and would love your help in translating them is I'd really love to be able to have these videos to for people who are deaf and can't listen to what I'm saying because I try to stick some good information at the beginning of my videos regarding photo cards and information about the album itself, versions that it comes in, and all those kinds of things. I try to put it in the description lately to help out with that. So I'd really love to be able to make these videos more accessible and easier for those who are deaf. Or if you don't have headphones and in a train or some public place and you still want to watch the video and you don't want the audio playing, you'll still be able to know what I'm saying as well. As well as for more international, so people who maybe don't know English will be able to understand the video and what's going on because I know some of the albums that I've unboxed, I haven't found other people have unboxed them as well because I know sometimes when I get new albums people are like, I haven't been able to find this anywhere, can you please unbox it first and things like that. So I really want other people to be able to understand and know what's going on. Translating to other languages is big for me as well. As well as Google's Translate, the auto one, I always have it so Google can auto translate whatever it thinks I'm saying. It really kind of messes up big time with group names and member names and sometimes it just can't understand my gibberish that I say randomly which I've noticed I do a little bit more the more comfortable I've gotten talking and doing these videos. So I really want it so people can actually... I just don't like it being wrong because if I'm talking about a certain group, I want people to know I'm talking about that group, even though it should be kind of obvious. But anyways, those are my reasons and really why I'm doing this and why I tried to do it myself. But of course, I can't translate it into other languages. I only know English, unfortunately. But if you'd like to help, even if it's just a minute here, a minute there, every little bit can help get these videos translated and subtitled. So I'm going to kind of walk through it real fast here. And yeah, let's just get right into that. So there's a couple ways you can kind of get to the translating video area. Uh, down in the description, down here, I always have a link you can click. And it will take you to my most recent videos that you can contribute subtitles to or translations. You can just click contribute and it'll take you to the video. And if you don't want to do it in English, you just click switch language, hit the drop down, type in your language, and then just hit set language. If you want to go based off of starting at the video, starting at the video, you can just click more, add translations. And it takes you to that same window and you can pick your language or keep with English and just hit set language. Already been working on the video, you can just hit edit and I'll let you continue to work. And you can just type in the words here, hit enter or the plus sign. If you want to do a little bit of a shortcut to just keep typing because I like to type all the words and translate it and then time everything. That's usually how I like to do it. And then also, I try to make sure that we don't go past two lines because then it starts to get too much text going on. So whenever I find a good pause or when I end up taking a breath in the video or something like that is where I try to end it. 
even if it does start to get a little long, you can have them like right up tight on each other. So it'll still have that nice separation and just keep going, I guess you could say. But there's a couple ways you can move for the time. And you can just grab the little text area and drag it around. Or you can move these little blue bars on the side. And it'll let you move everything. I like to have this pause video while typing feature though checked as well because when once I start typing the video stops playing and I can just hit the shift space bar when I need more text to go or I'll type everything that was said, enter, and I'm ready for the next part. It usually won't always be perfect which is why I like to type everything and then usually the timing I might just have to adjust a little bit. But if you'd like to be credited as your contribution just check this box here and you can be credited in the description for when the translations go public as someone who subtitled or translated the video. And then when you're done, you can hit submit contribution. If you're translating and you would like to do the title and description, you would just click it up here. But since I'm in English, it won't let me click it because you can't really translate English to English. So with the description, you can you have to do the title and description before you can submit it. You can't just do the title or the description. It's the only downside if you're going to try and translate the title and description. But once you are done, of course, again, you can credit your contribution and then hit submit contribution. No means it's not done. It's not ready. It still needs more work. You can pick no and then other people can come along and work on it as well. Or you can come back to it and work on it later if you'd like. Or you can hit yes, it's ready to be reviewed. And then it goes to the community for them to review. And once it gets enough approvals, then it comes to me through an email telling me, hey, this is ready. Do you want to approve it and let it go to the video? Or no, you think it still needs some more work. So I'm going to hit no because, of course, this video is not ready. And hit submit. You can also, if you've been working on a video, go to your contributions. And here's everything you've submitted and the status it's in. It might be published, submitted, in review, all those kinds of things. Or you can go to your drafts and be like, oh, I want to keep working on this. Let me work back on this. And that's where those are. And again, anyone who wishes to help on this, I would greatly beyond appreciate any time you want to spend on it. I try to go through and do it on a separate um, account channel of mine since anything I actually do on the my channel it won't let other people contribute to those subtitles so I try to do it on another account so whatever I work on others can work on it with me any help you can give I would oh so much appreciate it like I was saying I hope this was helpful for you if you want to just use this again I'll put it in the description like and subscribe and thank you so much bye guys